Hello, my loves. What is up? How y'all all doing today? How y'all doing? What's up? <laughs> welcome back or welcome to my channel today for part number 11 of The Sims 3 Late Night. Y'all know I hope you are having a great day. It's the weekend, girl. If you ain't having a great day, well, honey, you better get it together, okay? Welcome back to my channel for part number 11, as I said before, of The Sims 3 Late Night. Now, really quick, y'all. Really freaking quick. I got my teacup. Uh, I got my popcorn. All the mess and the craziness that happened in the last part was absolutely insane. I feel like y'all freaking love the drama. I live for the drama. I know y'all just be loving it because I know every single part that has a bunch of drama in it, y'all be watching, okay? Y'all be watching. But when our Sims are good and wholesome and good human beings, humanitarians, y'all don't watch. Okay, so <laughs> the drama is going to keep boiling, okay? It's going get, to keep getting crazier and crazier, trust me, all right? But nothing in the world can be crazier than the Greens. Like, I don't think I can top that series. Like, that series was so freaking iconic. I don't think I could top it, but we trying. Like, I, I really want, you know, y'all to feel like you're in, watching a little TV show, okay? So get your popcorn, get your snacks, okay? Because I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a little bit of a recap. If you did not watch the last part, please make sure to go ahead and do so. Because if you don't, none of this is going to make sense, okay? And you're going to be like, girl, what the heck? What is this, okay? So please make sure to go ahead and watch the last part so that you can know what's going on, okay? So um, basically, a little preview of what happened. <sighs> it was a lot. So we had a party. Per usual, it's freaking late night. We always have parties. We had a party and there was a little bit of drama because you guys know that this household can never have a party without drama, okay? Basically, Nyla was kind of getting in on Keisha about the fact that she has a dating profile. Now, you guys know, all right, you are aware of the fact and I am aware of the fact that there is a possibility that Keisha is not cheating. I mean, we've looked. She's not cheating. She's not in a romantic relationship with anybody other than Malik. But when Nyla saw that dating profile, she's thinking that she's a big fat cheater. Um, and it caused a little bit of tension yesterday, not yesterday, in the last part. They actually ended up having a fight and it got to the point where Maya actually went in and defended not her sister but she defended Keisha her best friend now a lot of you guys actually agree with Maya and you believe that Nyla is being a little brat and that she is being a hypocrite and she's spoiled and a lot of you guys are anti Nyla right now which I am <laughs> I think it's so funny um you guys are definitely anti Nyla right now and Malik honestly is getting really really tired of it so um in the Sims world Malik actually got a call from Keisha um, because he was a little bit concerned. He was trying to figure out why the heck his girlfriend and his best friend were fighting. So basically, Nyla is telling Malik that Keisha is cheating on him. And honestly, Malik really trusts Keisha. He doesn't feel like she would ever, ever do something like that. So he's kind of going on the defensive. He actually right now is accusing Nyla of being a diva. He has known Nyla from her dorky days and he just feel like she's changed a lot and not for the better. She has she's a home wrecker, which he found out because everybody knows the tea now. I mean, it's, you know, obviously they all live in the same house. They're going to know. Um, and he's kind of given it to her and, and not a positive way, not the way that most of y'all probably won't. No, he has given it to her in the negative way. He's like, listen, you're a home wrecker. You're the last person to be talking about anybody cheating. You've changed and I don't like it. I don't know who the heck this person is. I don't like your new outfits. I don't like your clothes. I think you were fine the way you were. What the heck is wrong with you? So he's kind of going in on her right now and he is not a fan of the way that she's been acting lately. Um, because as soon as her outfit changed, it seemed like she changed as a person and Malik is not feeling it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and have him clean up or, you know what, Malik, why don't you go out today? You're a little irritated. I get it, honey boo. Like I totally understand. Um, I'm going to have him take a quick shower and then we are going to go out to the bookstore maybe and read some recipes or maybe we could actually purchase some because uh, I do want Malik to master his cooking skills. So feel like this is the best place to start so I'm gonna have him use the bathroom and go ahead and take a sh quick shower um Maya and Kray well Maya where the heck did Maya go 
She's over here. Okay, she's about to eat some pancakes. But uh, anyways, so Craylin is asleep. Maya's about to eat some waffles, not pancakes. She's about to eat some waffles. Oh my God, are those bad? Oh, girl, girl, do not eat those waffles. Don't you dare. Clean that up. Do not eat those. You must have lost your dang mind, girl. You finna get, you, are you ready to get poisoned? Why do these freaking Sims just leave their dishes everywhere? Like, it's honestly irritating. Okay. Um, and Craylin's about to do the same thing. Honey boo. Stop eating nasty food. I think Nyla just did it too. Oh my Lord. Y'all are a hot mess. A hot mess. Craylin, go ahead and grab yourself some cereal because you know you ain't a cook, honey boo. We ain't even gonna pretend like you are. Um, Maya's trying to shoo uh, Malik. Dude, what is that noise? Shut it up. Nobody wants to listen to this music. Freaking trash. Turn it off. <laughs> I'm just a ray of sunshine today. Just a ray of sunshine. Okay. Um, I actually do want to change Malik's outfit a bit. And, um, yeah. But, uh, anyways, what the heck? Why are you humiliated? Oh, I guess she walked in on you doing something. Um, I'm actually gonna have Malik. Do I have high free will on? Because I feel like I do. And I feel like maybe that's why they're just not listening to me. Oh, yes, I do. I guess I have it from the last part. So that's funny. All right, Malik. All right, honey boo, Malik. Let's go ahead and uh, head over to the Moonlight Cafe, which I think I added in. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, I'm going to have him go to the Moonlight Cafe today because I want him to just kind of have some time to himself. And I feel like that's the perfect place for him to go because he's just not feeling too hot. So I'm gonna have him go there. He has a lot to think about. He really is just not a fan of Nyla right now. I feel like really nobody is but Kraylin because Maya's still mad at her too. Um, there's just a lot of a lot of craziness going on. Nyla's feeling a little bit weird too. You know, she feels like she's losing all the people around her that truly do care for her. Um, but we're going to go ahead and invite out our mans and we are going to bring him to the reader's nook. We'll meet there just because she likes to read. So even if he can't be there for super long with us, you know, we could still hang out and uh, she actually doesn't have to work today, which is good. So she doesn't work until Friday, which is the next part. So we have some time to have fun and do our thing. Dude, who the hell are you? Get out of my house. Kraylin, change your outfit. You look stupid. Uh, every day. All right, so Kraylin, he needs to read a music book. So let's go ahead and read that and get it over with. And then Maya, what are you doing? You're supposed to be on the clock, girly. Go to work. Like, go to freaking work. Okay. Um, and then she's on her way to the reader's nook. What is Malik doing? He is on his way to the Midnight Cafe because he needs some time to process. Let me know, you guys, who your favorite person in this series is so far. I feel like, I don't know, I haven't really explored Kraylin as much. I feel like I've been very, like, not... Well, dude, will you freaking load? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I've been very... Uh, I guess not really paying much attention to Kray Kraylin, but um, I'm going to actually go ahead and have Malik buy a quick drink and we are going to get a chocolate cappuccino with caramel whipped cream. Maya, okay, no, she's at work. I was going to have her come hang out with Malik, but never mind. We could actually invite Keisha over here, but I'm going to have, um, are you going to get your dang drink? I'm just going to click something random. Maybe it'll make you get it. All right, let's check on Nyla and Mr. Maurice. Where did it go? Okay, it sent me to Kraylin for some odd freaking reason. Okay, um, word is that you have some great style. With such rave reviews, I figured I shouldn't pass up on the opportunity to have you reinstyle my entire wardrobe. I ain't got time for all that. I don't want to do that. Ugh, that's why I hate the stylist career, because honestly, I hate, hate doing that kind of stuff okay where the heck is the reader's nook did i not just ask him to meet me at the reader's nook so where the heck is it is this him no that's a lady uh oh here it is okay 
So he's got to be like somewhere around here. Because I told him to meet me at the reader's nook. And if he ain't at the reader's nook, we in a box. Oh my God, this dog is so cute. He is so cute. His name is Libby. Oh girl, you just tripping. Oh, oh my. He brought... His freaking kid. He brought his freaking daughter. Are you kidding me? Oh, we're such a home wrecker. All right. Um, he brought his child to the date with his side chick. So that's fun. Um, I mean... You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Um, so anyways, we are going to continue to talk to Maurice. His daughter's adorable, though. What's her name? Abner? That's, oh, okay. Um, let's go ahead and kiss him. Be like, dude, why did you bring your daughter? Like, get her out of here. No, I was kidding. <laughs> um, okay, Malik, what are you up to? Sorry, guys. I'm, like, switching back and forth. Dude, Maurice and Malik hate each other. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, I'm going to have Malik actually read a few recipes because I want him to improve his cooking skill. Maybe one of these in here has, like, a cooking book or something. No, these are all, like, pregnancy and random books. All right. Well, once we do that, uh, we will go ahead and chat with Keisha on the computer and see what she's up to for today. Um, what is going on with Maya? She needs to do her makeover, and I really don't want to do it. I'm so lazy. Okay. Um, yeah, I really don't want to do this makeover. Also, her stylist outfit looks like booty cheeks. Oh, this is the guy that we're making over. He's so cute. Didn't we make him over already, though? Like, I'm pretty sure I made him over. Like, I'm pretty sure he was not this cute before. I did that. But um, you know what? We will go ahead and give him a makeover once again because that's what our career is. And if we want to move up and we want Maya to be a successful stylist, we have to do these stupid things I don't want to do. So whatever. Okay. Get your little scanty booty on the stylist thing she's like "Ooh, daddy <laughs> he's low-key like really cute like he is really cute anybody else in the comments think he's a snack like if look at it the way she's looking at his butt <laughs> oh my god he looks like one of those people that like you would admire from afar you know what i mean like she's definitely admiring him right now this is totally gonna be the thumbnail he's cute like, look at his face. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, but Maya's like, um, you're cute and all, but I like my men with a little bit of color. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so uh, anyways, let's go ahead and have him get up in front here. I can actually see them being really good friends. I mean, he has been a very successful client, and I've actually appreciated working on him, because I think we've worked on him once or twice before, so I feel like he's going to be her official clientele that, like, always comes for a makeover, because he just always be thinking he ugly. All right, so what do you need, Mr. Sir? So he needs an everyday wear, a sleepwear, formal wear, swimwear, oh my god, and um, athletic wear. That's so much wears. Okay. Uh, first off, I know that you don't want a new haircut, but I'm giving you a new haircut and you can fight me if you have a problem with it Because it looks a hot mess and then what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am probably gonna give him a makeover off camera and then show you guys the ending result because I have to make over so much of his freaking stuff and I don't have time for all that so What I'm gonna do is I am going to make him over real quick and I will see you guys whenever I am done Bye all right, y'all, so we finished his makeover. He's running away. Up, up. Um, it's not my best work, but you know what? It'll do. <laughs> I was honestly not in the mood to do it. Um, so yeah, I should have made Maya a model because honestly, like this career is going to be a heartache. But I've never made it to 
Um, oh, wow. She actually wants to change careers. I don't know. I mean, I feel like she fits as a stylist. You know what I mean? Like, that's, I feel like her calling, I guess. Her calling? But she also does have a great fashion sense. So, I mean, she could be a model if she really wanted to. But I just feel like, I don't know. I'm really loving her as a stylist. So, we'll see. Um, but right now, I'm actually going to have her talk to Lindsay, who is her co-worker because I kind of want Maya to have other friends I mean I know Keisha is one of her good friends and I love Keisha um, but if we could become friends with Lindsay I might actually change Lindsay into a young adult and then have her and Maya be really good friends because you guys know that Maya is a charismatic person so she loves talking to people and it's the best way to get well known in the industry is if we know other stylists so um, I'm gonna go ahead and shock a bra and we are going to tell her a story. And then Malik is still on the computer. What is Nyla doing? Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. I keep going back and forth between people. That's the bad thing about having so many freaking Sims in one house. Where did Maurice go? Did he leave? I think he did leave. Pretty sure he left. Well, that's exciting. Um, yeah, he did leave. I'm inviting him back over. Hopefully he doesn't bring his freaking kid this time. I'm praying he does not bring his kid this time. All right, so he must be at work because it's three o'clock. So he may just be at work. So I'm going to go ahead and have um, Nyla read a book because you guys know that she's kind of a bookworm and she loves books. So I'll have her read. And then... He's still on the computer. I actually think it'd be fun if he could go out somewhere with Keisha. So that's what I'm going to have him do. Some random lady is freaking asking us to do stuff. So anyways, um, I think it's good that Malik tries to go out with Keisha and kind of like mend things a bit. I mean, I know Keisha's probably not mad at Malik because there's not really much he could do as far as Nyla being crazy. But um, we can, you know, try and get on her good side and basically just apologize for everything that happened. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, even though it's not his fault, he does feel really guilty. So let's actually invite her over to... Where do we want to go? Do we want to go to the beach? I feel like that's a good place to go. Yeah, let's go to the beach. All right. So we are going to take her to the beach from the midnight, even though this cafe is really great, obviously, but um, obviously, <laughs> like, obviously it's great. I built it. No, I'm just kidding. But um, it was really fun being here, but we got other things to do, girl. We got other things to do. Okay, so let's have, I actually do want to go ahead and work hard today. Maya, you are still talking to Lindsay. Let's go back to you guys and see how your relationships come in. It doesn't seem like it's going very quickly. So that's fun. All right. Let's go ahead and tell a funny story. Um, Brighten day. Let's go ahead and chat. And... Ask about her alma mater. See where she went to college. Who knows? Maybe we went to the same school. So we're also going to go ahead and gossip. And then we're going to be funny and show her a funny video. All right. Malik is on his way to Keisha. Once he is over there, then we will go ahead and um, do our thing. So I actually wanted to add in a lot that I just recently built. Um, but since this part is probably going to come out before the lot build is, then I didn't want to do the big reveal for the build yet. Um, so I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't add it in, but I was going to add it in because I was like, oh my God, that'd be so cute to have um, them do. But obviously, since I have not shared it yet, I didn't want to put it out. Oh my gosh, Keisha. I always have to change your freaking outfits. Like you can just, you, you never can just do things normally. So let's make you into your swimwear. All right, that's a hot mess, but it'll work. <laughs> All right, Malik, I am going to go ahead and have you change into your sleepwear, or not sleepwear, swimwear as well. 
I actually really do like them together. Like, they're a very cute couple. I know you guys are, like, still really, really shipping Nyla and Malik. And, of course, I love them, too. But I really do like Keisha a lot. She's, like, definitely a, a top favorite of mine. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and tell her an inside joke. She changed again. Stupid hoe. <laughs> did I tell you to change? No, I did not. All right. Let's go ahead and give her a hug. Uh, we are going to give her a little bit of a smoochy. A little bit of a smoochy. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> so cute. This is so adorable. Okay. Um, let's see. They've been together for a really long time. Like, <laughs> really long time. Okay. Um, let's flirt. It is a little bit weird that, like, he dated, uh, what's her face? What's her face? Nyla, and then just kind of jumped on to Keisha. But him and Nyla actually dated longer than him and Keisha have been dating. But I feel like it's very close to, you know, the time frame that, like, they've still been dating for a little bit. So we are going to go ahead and make out because they dated their senior year of university and now they're still together and they graduated. So obviously they've been together for like a year or two, which is pretty good. I'm pretty good. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and embrace her and we will, uh, give her a massage and let's go ahead and a stroke her chink and just be all cutesy and romantic and all the things that I hate, <laughs> that I hate in real life. Okay. We are going to compliment her athleticism as well. Um, I was going to have them like play in the water and stuff, but I think there's something wrong with this water and they can't actually do it. But let's see. We'll play in the ocean. See if it'll work. Highly doubt it, but we'll see. All right. So he wants to watch a movie. And since they're on a date right now, um, there's not really much to do with this freaking beach. Like I probably should have added more stuff to do because I feel like this beach is very, very bland. Um... And I'm trying to think of something that I could add to zest it up a bit, but I can't really think of anything fun. So we may just have to go to the boardwalk because I don't think this beach is going to work. You better not leave, you hoe. <laughs> I'm so nice. No, you're not thinking of leaving soon. We are on a freaking date. You're not going anywhere. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Okay. You ain't going nowhere, girl. You ain't going nowhere. He's just like... Okay. Come on, guys. Y'all take it forever. I ain't got all day. Uh, welcome to adulthood. Okay, nobody cares. It would be really cool to get a pet, but I obviously know that we shouldn't do that because, you know, we're in a loft, but I think it'd be really cute to get a pet. All right, so Maya, what are you doing, girl? Let's go ahead and call our client. What was his name again? Uh, Dwayne. And let's call and chat with him. I really do want to be friends with him, so I feel like the best way to be friends is to give him a little call. Um, so I'm actually not going to have them go to the boardwalk. I'm just going to have them go watch a movie or something. Uh, let's see. We will go to see Face Kicker 4. All right. Let's go watch a movie since that's what Malik wants to do. And then he also wants to improve his mixology skill, which of course we are going to do. And I'm going to have him go watch his movie with Keisha. She's actually on the phone with Dwayne. And Kraylin is at work. He's about to get off. Nyla is reading books. She wants to read three books in total and also um, improve her athletic skill. I think it'd be really fun to travel to China. Ooh, Dwayne's actually here. Hey, boy. Okay. Uh, Maurice increased his athletic skill to level one. Um, that's really bad. Where did... Nyla go okay she's back here I was like where the heck did she go like where's she at we can't even like keep track of the girl okay she looks so pretty like she may be a little crazy lately but she is so cute okay so freaking cute okay uh they're going to their movie 
Kralin just got off. He made 482 simoleons today, which is pretty good. I'm thinking of, about having him and Nyla, or not Nyla, him and Maya go to the club today. So I'm actually going to send them over to the the Coco Bongo Lounge. And they are going to spend some time together because I feel like they have, their relationship has definitely been on the rocks, especially with the last part. And Kralin continuously tried to hit on her sister. That's a no-no. Okay, so um, we are, Nyla, what are you doing? Honey boo, you are still reading. D listen, all right, this book is taking you way too long, girl. Okay, the pages, the pages ain't that big. Let's go. All right, so he's at the movies. I think Krillin's actually made it to the lounge. So let's go ahead and, um, oh, these strobe lights are going to kill me. Yeah, no, we ain't doing that. Let's go to the, oh, well, she's already here now. Well, poo, I guess we're stuck here. Hold on. Let me turn these off guys. Cause I know that this is going to break my stride. All right. Ew, Krillin, change your outfit. Oh my god, is that the girl at the party that he was dancing with? I'm pretty sure that's the girl at the party he was dancing with. Pretty sure. But I'm not going to be petty. Oh, that's actually his boss. Oh, that's funny. Dang, look how bad their relationship is. That's crazy. All right, uh, right, let's go ahead and be romantic. And we are going to take a photo together. Their relationship is just a hot mess. <laughs> A hot mess they are back on to be okay literally girl you're not even you're kissing his, his nostrils you're probably sucking up all the boogies out his nostril that's disgusting I don't even know what this is but you know what we are just going to deal with it and accept it for what it is which is a very awkward and weird kiss okay but it seems like it helped their relationship a little bit <laughs> all right uh, so so, let's see. Let's go ahead and be funny. We are going to tell him an inside joke. And we're also going to give him a friendly hug. Or give her a friendly hug. And chat with him. Maya's so pretty. Like, I can't even. Like, I literally hate my life because she's so pretty. All right. Um, so... So, let's see. Let's go get drunk. Where's the bar? Where's the bar? Is it back here? Yep, it's back here. All righty, let's see. Maya, go ahead and grab yourself a drink. Let's get the spine rectator. And then we are going to get a woohoo on the beach for him. And, huh, Nyla, why don't you come over here too? Why the frick not? And Malik is done with his date. Um, he's actually kind of hungry. So let's have her. Let's go take her out to eat. Why not? Let's go to this fancy pantsy restaurant. Eat here. Man, they're closed. Okay. Uh, there should be a diner that's like open all the time. Like freaking IHOP. Where is the diner? I feel like it's right in front of my face and I just can't see it because I'm blind like i'm so bad at locating things okay uh y'all are probably like girl it's right in front of your face okay listen i am going through every single line here because my stupid self will not be able to find it otherwise and i can't i can't seem to find it and y'all are probably gonna get mad at me but what we'll probably just end up doing is not eating anywhere because <laughs> i don't know where the heck the diner is so let's go ahead and um i'm gonna invite keisha to our apartment because i feel like that is the best way to have her uh can we invite her over to like spend the night stroke cheek I want her to spend the night I feel like she never spends the night at her apartment no. like maybe we could go to her apartment I don't even know where she freaking lives like I have no clue um romantic we will make out with her how do I ask her to stay over <laughs> 
I think it's in friendly. Like I have to go and do it through the friendly category, but they ain't friendly. They trying to have a little fun. Okay. Get to know. Uh, um, ask about day and share secrets and enthuse about sleeping in uh ask how late these sims stayed up and we're just gonna keep doing these until our day is perfect and then we can leave because i'm over it all right let's go back to maya who's calling Kraylin? answer your phone uh let's see nyla what are you doing honey boo go ahead and grab yourself a drink girl Let's go ahead and grab yourself a drink okay um maya is really exhausted so i might actually have her leave because she's tired she is feeling a little bit you know kind of under the weather because of her day she had at work today so we might just have to send her home but it seems like nyla and um Kraylin might actually be doing pretty good so i'm gonna have Kraylin ask for another drink whenever he's done with his other one and i'll have maya go home okay so malik malik's actually not that far from us uh asked to move in i think we actually have to be at the house oh all right we'll just end the date that'll work all right so maya's on her way home they are a drinking, doing a thing. All right, let's see. Let's get the Card Bay cooler. Give us more drinks, girl. Give us more drinks. I'm gonna let them have just a freaking time. Is there anybody even here? No. It's literally just us two. <laughs> That's exciting. All right, so I'm gonna let them bar hop and have some fun. Why not? They have a lot to talk about anyways to catch up. They've actually been getting pretty close, so let's ask him about his day. And he's just like, dude, what happened with Malik? Like, you guys were so cool. And she's just like, man, I don't even freaking know. Like, he's been just acting absolutely insane. And I just can't deal with it. All right. Um, let's have Malik go to bed. She's going to go to bed, too, because she's freaking exhausted. All right. And... This bartender's killing it. This is where I want Malik to be, but he just is ratchet and just can't get nothing right. Like, seriously. <laughs> he just can't do nothing right. Like, I'm just being honest, okay? All right, good morning, you guys. So, Malik is up bright and early, ready to cook and uh, make some breakfast for everybody in the house today. Um, it seems like we have another stylist job, but Maya is feeling really, really sick today. So I think I'm actually going to keep her from work. Um, as I said, she's just feeling really sick. So I think I'm actually going to have her call in today. It's not like we're making too much money from our stylist career anyway. So we are just going to call in. Uh, jobs and offers. Take on pay time off one day. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to let her take one day off because she is feeling a hot mess. Malik is cooking up some food. I am going to have her go ahead and take a quick shower. And she is also going to wait for the food to be done. And she needs a lot of social. You guys know that Maya is a social butterfly. So we got to get her some more peoples in her life. We got to get her some more friends. I feel like she can't be stuck with the people in this house and just talking to them. So I'm going to have her take the day off. And then... um. We are going to, Maya is still asleep. I'm going to let her sleep a little longer. Or Nyla's still asleep. I'm going to let her sleep a little longer. I really like Maya's new outfit. Like, it really, really fits her. I am in love with it. But I know that it's only temporary because it's freaking Maya. And she's going to change her mind and be like, ew, I hate it. <laughs> and by Maya, I mean me. So, anyways, Malik is going to eat his food. Um, What is up with you, Nyla? You need to pee. And then Kraylin's starving. They all just got up at once. Okay, use this bathroom. And then you can take a quick shower. 
And Kralin, what are you doing? Are you going upstairs just to eat pancakes? Ew, what are you doing? Ew, you were not gonna lick that dirty plate, you freak. Grab a plate. Okay. So, Maya's done using the bathroom. We are going to go ahead and put this in the trash. And Maya, shut your trap. <laughs> shut up, girl. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm so mean. All right. Uh, so, Maya is feeling a little bit weird about ignoring her sister because you guys know that Maya and Nyla are twins. Like, they're pretty darn close. Darn close but not a fan of the way that her sister is you know right now and she did kind of participate in the whole makeover thing but just her sister has definitely let a guy kind of dictate her character and nyla was never like this she was always you know a pretty a pretty good girl like who stuck to her morals and her values and so anyways maya's actually gonna confront nyla in a nice way and just be like hey like how are you how you feeling um you know what's up and then she's like yeah i just you know wanted to see how you're doing and then nyla's really not feeling it she is gonna be like um she's like are you kidding me you just sat there and let it happen like you just sat there and let me be embarrassed like that and you didn't have my back and maya's gonna fight back she's like oh wait hold on a second girl I never, ever, ever did that, okay? You attack Keisha for no reason. You don't even have any proof that she has this dating profile. And she's gonna be like, honestly, I feel like it's just jealousy. And maybe, she's like, maybe, just maybe you're acting like that because you might still have feelings for Malik. But just accept it and stop being crazy. And Maya's just gonna like sassily walk away because that's how my girl does. Nyla is pissed. She's real mad. <laughs> they're still talking though. Freaking sisters. They argued and now they're just like, so how was the weather? <laughs> Literally, that's how sisters are. That's how me and my sister are. Like we'll argue and then I'm like, okay, I'm bored. Can we talk again? All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and have Maya sleep. She's really exhausted. She is really sick. So, um, and then Nyla, go ahead and grab yourself some pancakes i feel like nyla is just under the crossfire with everybody right now and it's not really doing her any good i feel like she right now has too much pride to just admit the fact that she's wrong and to mend all her relationships but anyways you guys i think i am gonna go ahead and end this part right on here let me know in the comments down below what you think about nyla and how she is right now and if you think that she's really changed and why do you think that she's made this change? And if you think Maurice has changed her for the good or for the worse, and if you think that it's possible that the reason that she's acting the way that she is is because maybe Maya's right and she does have feelings for Malik and that's why she's kind of being this jealous weirdo right now. Uh, but just let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this part. If you did, please make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I will see you all on Tuesday for my very next video. Bye, guys.